let's go to the first of the applications. Uh, for quiz number two, there are four applications, the population growth decay and the logistic equation. Uh, the rate of decomposition or growth of a substance is directly proportional to the number of substances present at any time t. So let's just say we have x as the number of substances present at any time. x sub zero or x naught is the original amount of the substance. So the standard form would take dx over dt is proportional to x, right? So the rate at which the substance grows or decomposes is proportional to the amount of the substance present. So uh, you already know this one, you've used this in your algebra before, the proportionality symbol. So the x goes with the x, the k, and then the t can go together. So dx over x is equal to k dt. And then once you integrate both sides of the equation, you'll end up with ln x is equal to kt. Of course, there is the plus constant, right? So let's just say D2, D2, where, where do you want the constant to be? You, if you want the constant to be from the left side, it's okay. If you want it from the, uh, to be at the right side, it's also okay. And then what they did here was combine the constants on one side. So ln of x minus ln of c, you can rewrite this as ln of x all over c is equal to kt. So e raised to ln of x all over c is equal to e raised to kt it negates the E and LN. What will happen to the right side is just X is equal to C. Our X over C is equal to E to the KT. And then the general solution would take this form now. More often than not, you will be given initial conditions if we want you to solve. In this case, for example, when time is equal to zero, the X or the number is the initial number, X sub zero or X naught. So x naught is equal to c k e k zero at you know, because following from this, we plug in x sub zero t, which is zero. This one cancels out, that becomes c is x sub zero, or the particular solution, instead of x is equal to c e to the kt, the c is actually equal to x sub zero or x naught. So this one is your particular solution. Start with one and then increases and increases and increases so that the change or the rate of change of the n, the total number with respect to time, is directly proportional to the number present or dn over dt is equal to kn. This is the working differential equation for population growth. A bacterial culture is known to grow at a rate proportional to the amount present. Okay. So it says here, um, it, it grows proportional to the amount present. So it's this. Basically, grows proportional to the amount present. After one hour, 1,000 strands of the bacteria are observed in the culture. And after four hours, 3,000 strands. So you're asked several questions. Letter A, determine an expression for the number of strands of the bacteria in the culture. Letter B, plot the solution. And letter C, find the number of strands of the bacteria originally in the solution. So it says there, the rate of growth of bacteria is proportional to the amount. Am I correct? Or you can say, dx over dt is equal to kx. t is in hours. x is in strands. All right. So it says there, do we know the initial amount? guys, of, of bacteria when time equals zero. Diba, we don't know. That's what we're looking for. But what do we know? We know that after one hour, 1,000 strands of the bacteria are observed. After one hour, 
1,000 strands. And after 4 hours, 3,000 strands. Determine an expression for the number of strands of the bacteria in the culture. So if it's an expression, it's just general um, expression. So at any time, it can be any X amount. So this is being asked as your letter A. And then question letter B, plot the solution. So letter B, plot the solution. And letter C, find the number of strands of bacteria originally in the culture. So this is your question letter C. You don't know the initial amount of bacteria in the culture. Let's go to the differential equation. So I can separate that. dx over x is equal to k. dt, I would integrate this. Now, what are the conditions that I have? When time equals 0 until time equals t. So the initial amount is x equals 0 until x. Am I correct, guys? Yes. yes. All right. So let's do this. So this one would just give us ln of x coming from x is 0 up to x up to k times t from 0 up to a certain time. So when substituting ln of x minus ln of x sub 0 is equal to k t. When you're applying the laws of logarithms, you can say ln of x over x sub 0 is equal to k sub t. Am I correct here? And then applying e to the ln of x over x sub 0 is equal to e to the k t. Or Basically, x is equal to x sub 0 e to the kt. Isn't it that condition number one? It says there that the x, when time is one hour, is 1,000 strands. And then condition number two states that the x, when the time is four hours, is 3,000 strands. Am I correct? So if you plug that in, that gives you 1,000 is equal to x naught e to the k. The other one is 3,000 is equal to x naught e to the 4k. Look, what's being asked for letter A? The general equation. So basically, it deals with k and t. But then this is not yet the general equation. Why? It still has a lot of unknowns. The key is unknown. It should just be t, at x. So there's still a lot of unknowns. Okay. So maybe what we can do is we have two equations and two unknowns. Divide two by one. All right. So what you have there is 3,000 is equal to x naught e to the 4k over... 1,000. This is x naught e to the k. So the 3,000 over 1,000, we don't have a problem. The x naught cancels out. You're only left with e to the loss of exponent that becomes 3k. Tama? ln of 3 is equal to 3k. Therefore, k is one-third ln of 3. 0.366204. So that means the value of your k is 0 0.366204. Okay. Now, we don't know the initial yet. What we can do is, so when we substitute k in equation number one, that's 1,000 is equal to x naught e to the 0 0.366204 times 1. What is x naught, guys? Please. Zero six hundred ninety nine point three six one. Sorry, I can't hear you. 600? 
Uh -huh. So, this is the number of strands of bacteria. So, maybe we can answer already. So, I can say that letter A is, um, so, x is equal to x naught e to the kt. You already have your x naught to be 694 strands. But then, of course, in, in your actual equation, you can say 693 point. You don't want to round off. It's okay with me. E raised to 0 0.366204 times T is your X. That's correct. And then your letter B. So typically when you plot it, it would, it would be best if the time is here and then this is your X. So what's the initial? The initial is, it says there, Initially around 694. So let's just say this is um 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. So ito 1K, 2K, 3K. So initially 694 siya when time is equal to zero. So maybe let's just plot this. Okay. And then this is one hour. One hour. So T in hours. X in strands, two, three, and four. Um, in exactly one hour, 1,000 daw siya. Um, in four hours, it's 3,000 strands of bacteria. Most likely, that is the plot. Okay, yes. last one. It says there, letter C. Uh, initially, what was the? x sub 0. So we were able to solve x sub 0 is 693.36 or approximately approximately 694 strands. Okay, so let's see the answer. You know, 694 exponent 0.366t and then initially it has 694 strands. You'll notice in here, this is the decomposition. So it disintegrates or it decomposes. And then it's the same. Um, the number, the change in the number is proportional to the number itself. Therefore, the change in the number with respect to time is proportional to the number. Therefore, dn over dt is equal to k. And so when you ask earlier, it's basically the same formula. What would be the difference, guys? They basically have the same formula in decomposition and in growth. So what do you think is the main difference? The K for growth is positive. That's why you'll notice here, the one we solved for, the K here is 0 0.366204. By the way, if I ask you, isn't it that the um, formula is this one, right? K is multiplied to T. And you know for a fact that when it's an exponential, it should have no units. Because the x and the xo are of the same units. Yung e dapat walang units ang exponential. So what is the unit of k? Saan ba nakamultiply yung k? Sa letter? T. Hmm. T. So kung sa letter t siya nakamultiply, that means t is time, right? Therefore, the unit of k is 1 over time. So Kung hour yun, that means hour to the negative one yung unit ng k. Do you understand? It says here, radium disintegrates at a rate proportional to the amount present. If 100 milligrams are set aside now, 96 milligrams will be present or will be left 100 years hence. Find how many, how much will be left centuries from the time the radium was set aside. Plot the solution and then determine how much will be left after 2.56 centuries and the half time of radium. So half life of radium. So medyo may pagkamaraming tinatanong. 
So let's go to this. Um, it says there, time and milligrams. Time is in centuries. And then X is in milligrams. So of course, the initial is time equals zero centuries. And then it says there, one, um, 100 milligrams are set aside now. That means initially, 100 milligrams. 96 milligrams will be left 100 years hence. So 100 years is one century. This is the amount left. Find how much will be left T centuries from the time radium was set aside. T centuries, you don't know what that is. And plot the solution, determine how much will be left after 2.56 centuries. So 2.56 centuries, ito x then. So let's just say x sub 1. And the half-life of radium. When you say half-life of radium, you're asked to solve for T1 half. So T1 half, that means it's half of the amount that is left. Can I say that this one is 50 milligrams? How much left T century? So basically the expression, letter B, plot, letter C, how much will be left? 2.56 centuries. And then letter D, half-life, letter B, it's just plotting. All right. So let's try solving letter A. Dx over dt is equal to, of course, kx. Dx over x is equal to k dt. And then let's integrate. Of course, um, it starts from zero time until any time t. This starts from, initially, you have 100. And then here, you don't know what x is. Basically, you just have ln of x coming from 100 to x. And this is k, t from 0 up to t. So ln of x minus ln of 100 is equal to kt. If you want, you can make this x over 100 is equal to kt, or basically um, x is equal to 100e to the kt. Okay, we haven't really answered anything yet. Now, what are the conditions? Apart from the initial condition, I have here x at one century is 96 milligrams. So that means if I plug that in, what I can have here is 96 is 100 e to the k at one year. So 0 0.96 is equal to e to the k. Can you please solve for k? Negative 0 0.04080. Uh, two, two. Two, two. 0 0.04 0822, roughly. Okay. Therefore, I can say that for letter A, we already have an answer. X is equal to 100E to the negative 0 0.04. 0822t. So let's go to, uh, let's just plot it later. But let's go to letter B, what's being asked in letter C. C. After 2.56 centuries. So let's go to letter C. So x at 2.56 is unknown. So let's just plug that in x is equal to 100 e negative 0 0.04028 uh, 22 times 2.56. Can you please solve this for me? 
Is it this one? Sorry, sorry, you're right. You're right, guys. Yay. 90 milligrams. So this is your letter C. Now, lastly, what is the half life now? Half life. X is equal to 100 e to the negative 0 0.040822 t, right? The equation. Okay, if it's half life, that means I can say 50 is equal to 100 e to the negative 0 0.00822 t, and then this one becomes 0 0.5 e to the negative 0 0.0408 to 2t. Therefore, t is equal to negative ln of 0 0.5 over 0 0.04822. Can you please solve this for me? 16.9700. Sixteen point nine seven nine seven, right? Yes, bro. Seventeen hundred years. Yes. Also, what I want you to know is this for half life, if you want to try. Can you please try this or can you please plug this in ln2 divided by what's rk and then multiply by negative so one century two three when time equals zero the answer is 100 it started out at 100 after one century 96 so let's just say this is 96 after 2.56 centuries 90 milligrams Something like that. Okay? All right. What about the amount, guys? What's the unit of the amount? Grams. Grams? Year. Okay. So the actual year is. 1962. 1962, that's year zero. You don't know what the initial amount was uh, placed. However, it says there that a certain amount was initially placed in sealed container. In 1987, it was found out that it has reached its half life. So, um, 1987. How many years is this? It has reached its half life. So 0 0.5 times XO. It was observed that, that 7.5 uh, 7 grams remained in the container in 1970. So in 1970, 7.5 grams remain in the container. So 1970 minus 62, that's just eight years. How much was initially stored? How, much, how many years after half-life would it take to reduce the substance to just 12% of its initial value? So that means 12% of its initial value, how many years? 
we don't know. So this is letter A. Letter B, so basically this is letter B. So let's solve. X sub zero until X zero up to a certain time we don't know. Ln of X from X sub zero to X is equal to K T from zero to T or Ln of X or X sub zero is equal to K T. X is X sub zero e to the K T. So with this, what do we know? Okay, we know the half-life. So let's substitute the half-life. Um, T1 half is 25 years. Okay, so substituting that, we can basically say um, X at 25 years is equal to 0 0.5 x naught. So 0 0.5 x naught is equal to x naught e to the k 25, right? So the x naught cancels out. Negative 0 0.02772. Six. Negative 0 0.027726. The thing is, we still don't know what X naught is, but what we know is that um, in one of the givens, the X at eight years is 7.5 milligrams. Therefore, with that, 7.5 milligrams is equal to x naught e to the negative 0 0.027726 at 8 years. Can you please solve for x naught? Sir, 9.36. 9.36, what else? This was your answer. So if we round that off, it's approximately 9.36 grams. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's correct, 9.36 grams, that's for letter A. Now what's for letter B? You're asked, when will it be 12%? So 12%, so you can cancel X naught, ln of 0 0.12 divided by negative 0 0.027726. What is the time? 76 point 47. 47 years but the thing is you have to take note that this one the time here is time taken from the initial time zero and what's being asked is how long after how many years after half life and the half life is 25 years after half-life so you have this and you have this you know 51.5 years after half-life okay last one we have what you call the logistic equation so the population size has an inhibitory effect on the growth of the population this is the logistic equation so if x guys is a population size then dx over dt is equal to k a minus x times x. This is called the logistic equation. So for example, viral infections, population growth, fake news, etc. So it says there one person in a small town with a population of 200 proceeds to spread a rumor. If the rate at which the rumor spreads is proportional to the number of people who know the rumor, as well as the number of people who do not know, ah, medyo may pagkamahirap to, find an expression for the number of people who know about the rumor after T days. 
So find an expression for X. Okay, what else is given? 50 people know about the rumor after one day. Plot this solution. The question is, how many people will have heard of the rumor after two days? Will the entire town eventually hear the rumor? Okay. dx over dt is k x at saka a minus x. Am I correct? What is the a? a is the 200 kasi that's the total number of people. Therefore, I can say dx over dt k x 200 minus x and then this is still variable separable so dx over x 200 minus x is equal to k ah, sorry that's dt k dt so of course we would want to integrate this but it would be best if we know the table so then let's create our table so in here, um, time is in days, x is in people, number of people or number of persons. After one day, how many people know the rumor? Fifty. Fifty. Okay, what's being asked here? How many people will have heard of the rumor after two days? So let's just try to integrate this. Um, this is from zero up to a certain time. Of course, um, initially, isa yung may alam. Up to, you don't know how many. I want you to recall your partial fractions. 1 over x, 200 minus x is a over x plus b over 200 minus x. So 1 is equal to a, 200 minus x plus b, x. So if x is 0, Therefore, A, 1 over 200. If X is 200, 1 is 200 B. So B is also 1 over 200. Therefore, this one could be integrated as from 1 to X, of 1 over 200x plus 1 over 200 of 200 minus x dx is equal to the integral of 0 to t k dt. It's ugly this one. Maybe I can move out the 200. So one, one to the x minus x dx, zero to t, k dt. So one over 200, this is simply ln of x minus ln of 200 minus x from 1 to x is equal to k t from 0 to ln of x over 200 minus x coming from 1 to x. This one is simply k t. So 1 over 200 ln of x over 200 minus x 
minus ln of 1 over 199. So this one, I moved the 200 to the other side. And then I separated the ln1, this one, that, that becomes plus. Am, am I correct in here? Sir, pwede ng uh, 199 next to the x? Yep, that one cancels out, right? So this one becomes ln of 199x over 200 minus x is equal to 200kt. ln of 199x, 200 minus x is equal to 200 kt 200 minus x is equal to e 200 kt so at least now it looks a bit better now do we know of anything yes we know that at day number one there's 50 people who knew so let's plug that in at day one there's 50 people who knew it about the, so this one is 50, that's 150 e to the 200 k times 1. What is k? 0 0.020973. From here, guys, let's try. 199 x is equal to 200 minus x of e to the 200 k t so this is 200 e to the 200 k t minus x e to the 200 k t therefore if i combine the x's i would have 200 e to the 200 k t all over 199 plus e to the 200 kt um you said earlier that the x was the k was um 200 times the k 4.1947 no 693 uh, so 199 plus e 4.19469 t so that means this is roughly how it would look like what is the x after two days guys 191.35 so that means approximately 191 people know about the about the rumor right right so basically that's it 